Hey YouTube. Um, today I'll just be teaching you how to make uh, a pretty nice logo, kind of similar to my current one. Um, I'll just try and find an example of it. Okay. Uh, let's see now. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Um, yeah. Here. So it's something like this. I'm not going to teach you to m how to make the exact one, but I'm going to try and make something similar, so you get a nice rough idea of how to make something like it um, and then you can kind of put your own ideas within it so uh, first you want to open up Cinema 4D um, and you want to uh, grab uh, your some text um, and you want to just type in your initials you don't want to go font I'm going to change it to Ethan ethnocentric and I'm gonna put a link in the description for this so you don't have to worry about asking me uh, yeah, yeah. so okay um, you just want to zoom in can't sort of rotate that and you want to grab uh, your extrude nerves you just want to drag that in there want to kind of drag it kind of up like that so you can kind of see the effect uh, you then want to make the movement like the, this one, 80. Um, you then want to go caps and you want to make them go fillet cap. So once you've done that, you then want to um, copy and paste it. And you want to go to object again and you want to make this 20. Okay. Um, so then once you've done that, you want to go back to caps. Or actually, sorry. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. You have to make both the radius 10 like that. Um, so once you've done that you want to kind of go around the side and you want to sort of move this into the middle like that yeah looks pretty accurate um, so once you've got that and you, have that, you just want to double click here to make a new material um, and you want to make the colour, let's see, um, hmm. oh yeah of course a blue, so two, 205 on sorry, this is the one you want to make 205, okay, so you just find a colour like that, yeah, um, go reflection and you want to make this, the brightness of this reflection, 20. Yeah. Close that. Just want to drag that into here. All right, and double click again. And you want to make the color uh, like 25 down here. Like that. Okay. Uh, also give this a reflection with a brightness of 20. Drag that into here. Just kind of go down here somewhere. And you can uh, view it. Well, view it. Uh, oh, render. Yeah, and render view. So, and you, so you just kind of want to drag up to a nice, kind of centered position. Yeah. Oh, I'll just keep it like that. So you can then. Um, here you go. File, save as. Um, make the format PNG. OK and um, just say if there's anything maybe uh, title preset I don't know um, once you've done that you want to go into Photoshop and you want to go Control N you then want to make the width and height 500 um, once you've got that just double click the background there type in background just turn it into a layer really uh, you then want to um, uh, invert this, yeah. Uh, so you then want to click your foreground colour and just change it to a kind of dark bluish, maybe medium bluish sort of colour. Just fill that like that, because then you can go filter, run, but lighting effects. Good enough. 
So once you've got that, you just want to kind of open your, um, uh, what do you call it? That's it, your title preset. Um, and you just want to drag it in here. And if it's a bit too small, if it, and if it, you know, if it looks bad, like that, you can uh, go back into Cinema 4D and you can just close that and you can go here. The output just make that 500. It's good enough. Uh, then I'm gonna zoom in, kind of like that. So yeah. And if that's zoomed in too much, maybe zoom out twice. See how that looks. Maybe move to the side a bit. is once more. See what that looks like. Yeah, that'll do. So file save as PNG. Okay. Um, just, just uh, like kind of overwrite title sequence. Uh, I mean title preset. Sorry. Um, that's here. So just replace it. Go back into Photoshop. Uh, you then want to reopen it. There you go. So it's nice and big, so you can just drag it in like that. Or if you want, you can kind of edit it when there's it. So just, uh, like, yeah. Also, unlock that. So just kind of, uh, like, use your magic wand tool and you just get rid of the black spaces um, and just drag it in, in here. And you just want to center it, close this. Yes. Um, what you might want to do now is you might want to reduce the opacity of this. I mean saturation, sorry. So go control U to bring up the hue and saturation. And just take this down, say minus 50. That's good. Uh, so what you can do now, you can open up. Yeah, I'm going to put a link in the description for these also. Um, just the screenshots here. So I was gonna do use this in a giveaway, but then I thought there's no point because um, I've used backgrounds and they're kind of better if you think about. It. So what I use first um, would be uh, let's see, probably use some sparks. Yeah. So just want to drag that in there, and you just want to kind of resize it to an appropriate size. Center. It. Blend with linear dodge. Um, go to control U. Equalizer. Twist 5. Keep that. Yeah. Uh, Want to open smoke. Put that like that. Linear dodge. Should enhance it a bit. Um, so you can put all sorts of stuff in there. Lens flares are always the best. Um, so yeah. Um, hmm. Oh yeah. I used this explosion button to see what this looks like. So I can obviously shrink that. Quite loud. Okay, so you just want to do the same thing, so just hue and saturation, uh, 205, maybe you might want to raise the top here, um, it's 
So you can enhance that if you want, but otherwise you can open a lens flare. Uh, I'm just going to take this one for now, but there's so many more. As long if you have optical flares in After Effects, then yeah, you can do that. So we need a dodge add. And there you go. You got that. Um, so you can do a lot more to this. Um, but it kind of looks more professional to you. Uh, less stuff. I mean, um, I mean, sparks and smoke always look cool. But yeah, um, maybe you might want to give this a drop shadow. Capacity of 100, distance of 0, spread of 15, size of 10. You might want to make that 20, maybe 30. You can do, all, you can do so much. And there you go. So you make a pretty neat kind of 3D uh, professional logo in Adobe Photoshop. Um, so just remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, message me and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.